Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how you can tell when your pepper transplants are ready to get into bigger containers and talk a little bit about feeding. I transplant mine into potting mix. Any potting mix that you buy at a store is fine. When the plants get this big and they're going into bigger containers, don't use seed starting mix. You're just sort of wasting your money. You can go to the bigger bags of potting mix. The uh, root systems, the plants are ready to handle you know, this type of mix. This is a miracle Grow. I think it has a little bit of fertilizer in it, I don't remember. When your plants have been growing for a while in the cups, you can just check on them. If you flip it over, you're looking for the root system. The roots should be nice and white. And you can see these roots are still growing down the length of the cup to the bottom, and there are no roots here. This plant can stay in here probably for at least another week, but that's how you check on them. As you work your way across, I did cheat and peek at these. This is a cayenne pepper. You can see this system of roots is going down and they're starting to show right here. You could transplant this right now or you could wait a couple of days. You don't want them starting to coil right around here. But what you can tell is that they have nice, solid, strong root systems. And then this is a mulatto, and you can see how this is coiling more. These are definitely ready to go into the containers. And then this one is a Soriano, and same thing. So when it, the roots really, I mean they look great, when they start filling up the sides, start to coil right around here, they're ready to go. So these three plants can go into containers. Now you want to go into something that's about double the size. You can put them into a, a peach shell like this. I don't recommend it. I don't like them. They tend to grow algae. I bought these a while ago and haven't really used them. Plastic container. This is probably perfect because your pepper will be able to sit in there. This is recycled. I have my neighbors drop these off all the time when they you know put the annuals into their garden. Or you can use another styrofoam cup. This might be a 20 ounce, this was an 8 or 10 ounce, so it's enough for the plant to grow. And the key is when you do this, you want to get about an inch worth of soil on the bottom so that the root, root system can grow into it. Also, when you put it in, there's enough room around it that the root systems can grow out. And you can see when you get to a bigger container, there's more room for the root. This one's better because not only does it give it a lot of space for the roots to grow out from the sides, but it gives some space down there. And I'm going to show you how to transplant one of them. It's, it's pretty simple. Drop in enough soil, press it down, maybe get about an inch, grab your pepper, pop it out. Now you don't have to plant it like that. You want to gently Break up the system, break up the sides, and this, how well, the roots look like that. When you sit it down, they're going to be pointing in every direction. That's what you want. Let them roam wild and be free and go into all the new open space. So I'm lightly pressing it in, or dropping it in, and then just gently press in your potting mix. You don't have to plant the stem any deeper like tomatoes. You can. You can go about to here. Let me bring it down. To about here, maybe a finger's width. It'd be fine if you plant it over that. They will grow some roots out the top, but they're not like tomatoes where you can, you know, have to plant them deeper or planting them deeper really benefits them. So that's what you end up with. This will be able to sit in here at least another, at least another four weeks, but maybe six weeks, eight weeks. It'll grow nicely in here. These are the uh, peppers that I topped off. They're getting nice side shoot growth already. And that's how you can determine whether or not your peppers are ready to be transplanted. Now fertilizing, a lot of people ask me questions. It's pretty hard to figure out how much of the dry granule or granule fertilizer to put into something like this. That's why I use liquid fertilizer. I just use miracle Grow, something similar, half strength, and every time I water these, they get 
some fertilizer in there. I don't overdo it, um, but it's enough for them to grow and really do well. So I do recommend in your transplants to really use a water-soluble fertilizer. You can go organic if you want, but you have to make sure you represent the N, P, and K when you go with organic fertilizers, and sometimes that's a little bit harder. So hopefully this gives you an idea of when to transplant your peppers, the size of pots to put them in, and a way to keep them fertilized until they're ready to go out into your garden. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.